What is going on? I'm Zedma. We are trying to keep up with Orion on Intel. He's at 105 already, and today is like Tuesday, I think. So just crushing it. I'm at 82, and in order to catch up, we need to clear our map. And right now is the easiest possible time in the history of Boom Beach to clear your map. And the reason for that, number one, we've got the Scorcher health 50%. Number two, we've got two Scorchers per boat. You'll notice that I've got a couple boats of Zookas. That's because I just don't have the gunboat energy to support eight boats of Scorchers and troops and all that sort of stuff. So this is my optimal, optimal layout for clearing my map. Now, you can switch out the Zookas for some Bombardiers. Otherwise, really, all you have to do is set them and forget them. You'll notice that I'm using Bullet. Now, Bullet... When you're trying to force close your game and not actually do anything at all, which we're not going to be doing today, Bullet is not the answer. The answer for that is either Kavan or Everspark because they stay in behind and don't die, whereas Bullet goes in front to his death. Now, Shock Knuckles has finally become useful for the first time in the history of Shock Knuckles because it actually gets Bullet somewhat out front. And at this point, you just close the game come back in a couple minutes and the map is clear like all you have to do is drop I'll show you on the next attack exactly what I do but for actually using some sort of user intervention I just keep throwing critters and artillery and kind of just hanging out literally impossible to stop this troop combo like I don't care if you've got 11 ice you're probably not gonna stop it maybe 11 ice but um, anything less than that and it's just not going to happen. I think we might lose a couple Zookas here, but we've got instant training, so really, really don't care. Uh, probably want to use Brick, just because it's a little bit faster and funner, but Bullet has his advantages as well. So, clearing map, so easy. If you haven't tried all Scorchers, do give it a shot. This is the perfect time. So here's what I'll do. Typically, if you guys weren't here, I would drop bullet up front, I would drop all of my troops in behind, and then I would simply barrage something, anything, and at this point I would close the game, and the game would just continue and simulate what happens in behind, kind of like when you disconnect. I'm not going to show you the force close simply because whenever I do that I end up showing off like my wife's contact information and whatever I was browsing on Instagram and Twitter and all that sort of good stuff, but troops don't need any assistance they're just gonna cruise through all of this stuff and because we have instant training we really 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 don't care how many troops we lose like their scorchers just get spread out so wide the defenses can't just pick one and then that shock blaster picks one and then something else moves closer so the shock blaster has to change its mind and attack something else we've now got 126 GBE Zero effort whatsoever. This is going to be magical for the super mega turtle lunar goodness coming at the end of this month. So um, if you've never ever tried this, this is a fantastic way to get easy, easy intel. All you have to do is attack and then force close and then open up the game and the game has simulated the rest of the attack. Everything is happy and healthy and it's incredibly, incredibly rare for you to actually lose an attack. Lose some troops, sure. Lose an attack, basically almost never. The only time I end up doing that is when I just quickly force close and end up coming back and finding out they had like a hidden grappler somewhere or something like that. So um, now personally, I think this is terrible for Boom Beach. Sure, we're getting easy intel and um, no one, like this is absolute, absolute worst case for Boom Beach. The fact that you don't have to do anything to clear your map just means that no one's playing no one's taking pride in anything and it's just this this is essentially the death of boom beach in my opinion now that is definitely 1000 percent an overstatement um lots of lots and lots and lots of little things are contributing to the death of boom beach for example the fact that Yesterday's Hammerman had three of the exact same stages as the week before. And the fact that we're just doing the same things over and over and over again. Um, but uh, that is a whole different topic. As you can tell, I'm a little bit peeved at the Supercell team. I don't even know if there is a Supercell team at this part. It feels like we've just been left in the dark and we're kind of hanging on for dear life, hoping that our favorite game doesn't die. But... Um, 
it's one of those double-edged swords. I love the fact that I can get super, super easy intel without having to think and without having to do anything, but the fact that Warships is slowly but surely taking over and Warships has zero um, social aspects whatsoever, not a super great thing. So we've got Warships taking over, Operations lying stale, and then no one taking pride in anything anymore because it's all just super, super easy. So. Um, hopefully this doesn't come across as uh, um, as me yelling the world is ending, the world is ending or something like that. I still play Boom Beach more than any other mobile game, more than any other game, period. But uh, the writing is being found on the wall and it's been there for a while. But a um, little... Oops, I just noticed this person's French. They've got the F possibly in their statues. And that's the other thing is I don't pay any attention to statues or... So I've probably killed some hopper shields. I've probably um, attacked some people that I wouldn't have otherwise. But right about now, just dropping troops, closing the game, and then hoping for that once a day operation attack to come into play, which is a strange, strange place to be in. So uh, Supercell, please make some changes. Please give us new, all, they, all it would take is like get an intern in for like a week and they could churn out all sorts of good content. For example, a different shaped Dr. T stage, um, different locations of the Dr. T headquarters, I don't care about Dr. T's sayings, as you can see there, I just squeeze right on by them, but the fact that it's so incredibly easy to clear the map right now is, uh, at first glance, it's a great thing, but um, once you think about it a little bit, it gets a little bit sketchy and scary, and um, if you watch your, your task force's chat logs, the harder things are, the more people share things, and I don't necessarily want things to be super hard because I know that anytime it's difficult for people to clear their maps, people get grumpy. But this is just beyond easy mode. You'll notice that I have not paid any attention to anything I'm doing. I'm just like barraging random things. And then you can like go and get yourself a coffee in the middle of an attack, which... Um, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious if you guys think I'm oversimplifying it or if I, you guys agree or if you've agreed for a while or... But um, it just feels like Supercell needs to bring in like the Google Summer of Code. Get an intern. Hell, I'll do it. Let just let me make some small improvements because like a task force filter seems like it would take like maybe, maybe eight hours for someone with a decent amount of coding skills to implement. Just let us, yeah. Grump, grumpy today. I am very, very grumpy today. So sick and tired of COVID. So sick and tired of my broken arm and not being able to bike or go outside. Or So hopefully this video doesn't come across as a massive, massive wine fest. But um, it's been a long time coming, my friends. I've been biting my tongue and biting my tongue. And uh, hopefully not too over the top. But that is how I... Tell us how you really feel, Zed. Tell us how you really feel. But uh, I am pushing on the victory points. You can't push on Intel without pushing on victory points. So trying to keep up with Orion um, is having some good effects because I haven't pushed my victory points in the neighborhood of 900 in a while. So uh, can I get to 1100? I doubt it. And if you're wondering what the heck the magic number is about 1100, as soon as you get to 1100, you get that extra one Intel every single day. Or is it two Intel because you get the supply chest and the daily boat? Regardless, extra Intel for being at 1100 victory points is suddenly appealing because uh, the more intel you get, the higher operations you can do and the more often you can do operations. And if you have a look here, um, what you want is your task force to say operation started 29 or 30, it depends. Obviously, um, I think last month was February, had, or this month being February has something to do with that. Or, Anyways, um, would love to be able to filter task forces based on how many operations they've run in the last little while because it's so frustrating searching through the list of task forces and seeing every single task force that says daily operations and then you do a scout on their task force and it says like 16 operations in the last 30 days or something like that. So simple filters like that or the ability to see um, how many points they have or filter based on number of members or simple, simple database calls that are likely there in other games and just haven't been ported over. So I'm um, also, I noticed that Heyday has started doing like the Heyday Pass, I believe. So I think 
That leaves Boom Beach as the only Supercell game that doesn't have a pass system in place. I could be wrong. Also, I just remembered I have 3,000 gems slash diamonds to give away in Clash of Clans, I believe. So do look for an announcement, a... Um, it's like called contest coming soon because I completely and utterly forgot about that until right this second. So if you play Clash of Clans, hit me up in the comments. Let me know how, if 3,000 gems, diamonds, whatever you even call them, if that's a good prize or not. And I likely will be doing it in three prizes of 1,000 as opposed to one of 3,000. But uh, let me know what that equates to in diamonds in Boom Beach and um, if you'd be excited to win that prize because I randomly entered a Supercell thing and got it. So Supercell doing all sorts of awesome stuff. The CEO and president just released his year in review and Boom Beach was mentioned a total of one times that said something like Boom Beach is doing well. And then there were like 12 paragraphs on every other game. There's even like four paragraphs on Heyday and uh, stuff like that just makes me sad. Boom Beach, come on, don't die on us. We're on med life support, but at least we're getting two crystals to put towards making powder for operations. Anyways, that is my video of the day. A little bit sad, a little bit whiny. Try to keep things positive, but that is not always the case. I'm not going to bore you with my um, NPC base clearing. Nonetheless, as always, the Mega Crab, Mega Turtle, whatever the heck, Shadow should be appearing very, very soon. Season 20 of Warships does not appear to have a name, which is infuriating as well. Like, are you serious? There's no checklist? Like, make name for Warships season? Crazy, 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 crazy. Just, yeah. Anyways, that is all for me. I'm going to go whine and grumble and punch a baby or something. <laughs> it just feels like uh, it's one of those kinds of days. Yes, I just said punch a baby. Nonetheless, as always, I'm Zedma. Thanks for coming in. Peace.